Georgia Tech's great football tradition began with legendary coach John Heisman, whose name has come to symbolize football excellence. Ironically, the Yellow Jackets senior quarterback Joe Hamilton figured prominently in this season's Heisman voting, finishing second. Here comes Hamilton. Joe's going to keep it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! Touchdown. Today, in his final college game, Hamilton plays against a Miami team that features a future Heisman hopeful, Santana Moss. Rock and roll, touchdown, Hurricane! The 55th Toyota Gator Bowl, a showcase for two top 25 teams and a pair of explosive offensive stars. NBC Sports presents the 2000 Toyota Gator Bowl. From Altel Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida, it's the Miami Hurricanes against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And Miami taking the field, representing the Big East Conference with a record of eight and four, and ranks 23rd in the nation. Toyota Gator Bowl. First pass, Kelly, high but caught. Reggie Wayne made the reception. Jackson, blockers in front, has the first down. Inside the 20, still on his feet. And out of bounds around the five-yard line. Tillman knocked him out to save the touchdown. Drive, they usually win. Dorsey with a handoff to Jackson again. And Jackson for the touchdown. Impressive Miami drive to open the game. James Jackson got the touchdown. An eight-yard run as he tried the left side. Jackson across the goal line and the Hurricanes on top. Miami leads Georgia Tech first quarter, 7-0. Well, Larry says he does that sometimes when there's no huddle, about 90% of the time. Has the freedom to do it anytime. Deflected, though, and intercepted by Matt Sweeney. Big Matt Sweeney, the senior from Lafayette, New Jersey, got a paw up to deflect the Hamilton pass and then hauled it in as well and set sail upfield. A engineering student for Georgia Tech sends it on its way and blocked. The punt was blocked and taken down at the 19-yard line. Dyke made the saving tackle, but James Lewis broke through to... Block the punt, and how many times during this bowl season have we seen special teams and specifically blocked kicks? Well, one of the things that Butch Davis talked about is you need to make a play on special teams, and he was concerned because he's watching. Play action fade. Kelly's pass on target. Complete to Moss. Santana Moss using his blockers to the sideline and caught from behind at the 18-yard line once again by Chris Young. Andre King giving Moss a block after he made the catch in another Miami big play. Kelly from the gun. Short pass crossing across the middle and touchdown Miami. Andre King. King crossing, picking off the pass and untouched into the end zone. His fifth touchdown reception of the season. About a day and a half to run around. But, you know, these passes don't look tough to throw. But when you have a guy that wide open, you know that the end result... lost on the play. The center of the Miami defense just collapsed him. Barreau was there. Lewis, Sweeney, Morgan. The Jackets trying to convert a third down. And stopped for a loss on the play. And a big loss at that. Miami takes over at its own 26-yard line, leading 14-0. Kelly, play action fake. It has a man wide open. Caught by Bubba Franks. Big Bubba lowers his head and boom! to midfield. Oh, Miami's defense ranked 12th in the nation in scoring defense. They look every bit of, look every bit of that today. Well, Ralph Machitek able to pick up the first down. Here's the option. And the pitch fumbled. And the ball's loose. Gregory fumbled the pitch. And I want to say Hamilton. Joe Hamilton got back on it. It is indeed the quick Joe Remember Kelly dislocated his index finger on his right hand in the first quarter and maybe it's begun to swell or bother him. On the draw play, Clinton Portis, Portis has some room. Portis is down the sideline. Portis to the 10, and Portis will score. Clinton Portis threatening the Gator Bowl record. 
three yards, a new Gator Bowl record. Electrifying the crowd with a 73-yard jaunt. You know, we talked about the, the missed opportunities. There's one, bounces off a tackle, misses one, that's two and three, and then you'll see Clay Brooks come in the pitcher, but there's no comparison between a guy who weighs 265 pounds and a guy who's a former high school track and field standout. He's in the shotgun on first down. Clock shows 154 second quarter. Kelly's pass complete, wide open. Catch made by Bubba Franks. Bubba some moves and a dive to the 45 after uh, plowing it up with a dive. Kelly again with a hot hand, as you said. Ted Ruth, the beleaguered tech defensive coordinator, will remember during his playing days of the tech black watch defense. Nine of Miami, first down, Georgia Tech. The option again. And Hamilton keeps, can't get away. Al Blades wrapped him up early and would not let go. Blades, the second team all Big East selection, the junior from Plantation, Florida. Hamilton swings it to Gregory, hit immediately and dropped by Dan Morgan. Morgan smelled that one coming and was all over him in a heartbeat. Let's go down to Craig. Option again, Hamilton keeps. They cut off the pitch. Well defensed by Miami. Edward Reed makes the stop. Handoff to Gregory who slips. And is marked down at the 35-yard line covered by Matt Walters. The roll cut off. Looks downfield. Wired on a rope to the 40 to Santana Moss. Dorsey winged that one. He had some steam on it. He had to and got it right to Santana Moss. The 40-yard line of the Yellow Jackets. Dorsey hit as he let that one go. A one-handed catch made by Reggie Wayne. Wayne steps out of a tackle and has a Miami first down. Dorsey just threw a rainbow as he was hit, and Wayne hauled it in with one hand. Down. Dorsey fakes the handoff, throws for the end zone. And the pass is great catch. Touchdown, Reggie Wayne. Wayne, who made a one-handed grab earlier to keep the drive alive, goes to the corner of the end zone and somehow hauls this one down for the touchdown. When Reggie Wayne and Jamar Clark stand side by side, Wayne has them by about five inches, and you can see the difference right there. Good coverage by Clark. Take command of the game. Dorsey hitting Reggie Wayne in the end zone, and now after the extra point, it's Miami 28 and Georgia Tech 13. Notre Dame here last year. Play action fake. Dorsey at quarterback and has Bubba Franks. Bubba still on his feet, almost to midfield. They didn't forget about Bubba that time. And Hamilton sacked at the 25-yard line by strong safety Edward Reed. And 16 for Tech. One last gasp for the Yellow Jackets. Hamilton steps up for the end zone. Intercepted. Intercepted by Leonard Myers. Georgia Tech got a little spark just before halftime and then came out and dominated the third quarter. But they didn't put that many points on the board and then Miami turned it around with a long drive in the fourth and their defense again completely cutting off any Georgia Tech rally. Linebackers there 10 yards deep. Hamilton chased from the pocket and sacked. Right. Right. That underclassman must declare for the NFL draft. Hamilton got away from the first wave. Bureau, and then they all collapse him, and Miami will take an E and down the clock. And the Hurricane faithful will start thinking about next season, which should be a bright one for Butch Davis and his Hurricanes. As the final seconds tick away, the Toyota Gator Bowl Championship belongs to the University of Miami Hurricanes and their coach, Butch Davis. The final score, Miami 28, Georgia Tech 13. Canes took the opening kick.
went all the way down the field and never trailed despite a lapse in the third quarter and win it 28 13. So for James Lofton and Craig Sager, this is Tom Hammond saying Happy New Year, Happy New Millennium, and so long from the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida. Now we'll take you right to the Williams World Challenge Golf in Scottsdale, Arizona.